so if you hear me above the squealing, welcome to Mega Bevan Notes. So it looks like I'm going to have to, to sort out the uh, CBT belt at some point. Anyway, it was very strange because going, I'm going shopping to Aldi and uh, this street I'm driving along was built about a year ago and it's basically a shortcut from my house to, sorry, Lidl, not Aldi and uh, it's kind of weird because to go back I have to go the long way around because this is all one way So, yeah, it's kind of strange. And I have to get used to a weird junction arrangement there at the entrance of the, the store, in that it's priority I'd want there. To be careful of cars coming off the roundabout. And there we go. I'm going to try to park without hitting the, the front bull bar on the curb because that's not really a dumb thing to do. So here we are, literally two minutes and I'm at Aldi. Then when I go back afterwards, well, it's not exactly a long way, but it's a long way around. So before going, I just wanted to, to mention that uh, my friend Adam is actually, I'm gonna switch the engine off actually, because that's lights, why the engine? Hang on, I've got, It's in neutral, okay, good. So, yeah, uh, my friend Adam has been working on uh, a holder for the um, All Powers Auxiliary Battery, and uh, this is the third prototype. And this one actually is, is actually trimmed a little bit and things. I'll show you in another video, but yeah, it fits. It fits, but the only snag is, is that you have to fight a little bit to take this out. So that means that if somebody wanted to come and steal it, uh, they'll have a job getting it out. Uh, which is not really the, the idea, but anyway, I think I have to do some little adjustments to make it so I can actually take it in out easily without damaging the dashboard. So when you pull on this, the whole dashboard comes away from the windscreen, so that's not ideal. Anyway, we better get some shopping done, haven't we? So, off we go. I thought it was actually a bit busier than usual, but uh, it doesn't seem to be. So, we've got plenty of room for the shopping in here, as you can see. Shopping bags at the ready, so I need to take them with me. And um, we've got all, all that room. So I shall see you later. So that's all the shopping done. I have to go and pack it now. And uh, the weather is pretty awful. Uh, it's been very set unsettled. Um, the last week or two, uh, storms, hail, and all this sort of thing. But, uh, well, I shall put this away and I'll be back to you. So, quite a lot can be fitted in the back of my van, and there's still space, lots of space. So, I'm glad I bought a van rather than the Son Permi car. So, we're back in, and uh, I think I need window wipers for my glasses. Um, I need new screen wash for my van as well because uh, it's run out and I thought I had some in the in the garage but there's none none left at all I even topped the radiator up and uh, found it was sort of full I don't think that's normal anyway at some point I'm going to have to have the uh, have a small service done at the local garage and also I need this sort of question of the control technique in April, the MOT. Well, um, Rick Murray, who's also on, is also on YouTube, sorry, um, gave me a list of what they're going to be looking for. So that would be a, probably be another idea for another video um, to to sort of like talk about what needs to be done. Um, but, but it would be helpful if I supplied the list to the garage and they could see what needed to be done because I don't think anything like that has ever been done on this van since it was built in 2011. So, yeah, a few
future things. So I think we're going to head up, head off now and head off back uh, in the rain. Um, I can't see to the to the right of me, so I think I'll probably wind the window down a little bit so that I can clear the water off it. A small problem of a small consideration of condensation on the inside of the windscreen, meaning that. My dash cam will be pretty useless and I won't be able to see where I'm going. So, we will use my little low tech wiper. I know people have got these fancy Karsha window vac things. It'd be totally pointless in here. So, that's the blower going. Hopefully we're all set. And it's still squealing again. Lendert in Holland, who runs a Sompermi site, Gronkelwoot it's called, said to me that the, the belt needs tightening. I'm hoping it's something like that, rather than me having to replace the whole thing. It seems to happen and it goes off. There we go, it's gone now. So this is the long way round. Instead of just going around a couple of blocks, I have to go all the way around this windy road, keep an eye out for cars coming the other way, so I can't see a damn thing. Don't think, whoops, there's a lorry. Right. I've got enough that car coming, you can see him. That was a bit close to that car. Close to the car that's parked. And because this is all steamed up, this big pillar, I struggle to see when I'm on a sharp bend to the left of me. Anyway, nice surprise getting a big lorry there. Right, onto the main drag. And then we'll be home. So, I think that once I get going on here, it's going to be au revoir. Un salut. Et à la prochaine. So, see you in another video. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.